guys, Jim here with another Cinema Pro Tools tip. Today we're doing another circle dolly setup. This time we're doing a 180 degree turn, a half circle, to showcase the uh, activities going around here at this Lowe's Center. So we're gonna take you through the steps. Stay with us. This tutorial is different from the other circle dolly tutorial in that it is a tight radius 180 degree turn. We're basically doing a half circle and doing it indoors. In the previous episode, we used standard 20 foot radius circle track. This time I'm using the tight radius film air track with a radius of 14 feet. Instead of putting a very large lawnmower in the center, we're going to be putting a spokesperson. First, let's start with the difference between the track. The standard radius track takes eight pieces to make a full circle, while the film air track only takes four. So for us, we have a half circle, so we only need two pieces of track to mess with. I'm really impressed with the film air track because it has a solid base underneath, which makes it super easy to level. Working inside a warehouse with smooth cement floors makes our job even easier. Still, you do have to do some tweaking because even the most highly polished cement floors are not perfectly flat. Also, when laying between two different slabs, as you can see here, you have minute differences and if you don't add wedges, you will have rock in the dolly as it moves along. I'm also in love with these plastic shims instead of the standard wooden shims used most often in the industry. You can get these from your hardware store. The quick setup time made our life easy as we had four different setups for this gig. Even when we set up outside in the parking lot, we still found it very simple to use the plastic shims to get our semicircle perfectly level. Once again, we are using the Porta Glide wheels underneath our doorway dolly. And simply placing a tripod while shooting with the red. Since our talent is at the center of the semicircle, our focal range remains the same, requiring no focus puller. So the director has decided to do an outside sweep at 180 degrees, which is something unique. I've never done that before. But what it's good for is showcasing what is behind you, which is the intent. Action. We made all the moves. Quick. Nim. We had to. And once again, we rented this equipment from our very good friends down at PC&E, Production Consultants and Equipment in Atlanta, Georgia. As is often the case, it is better to rent expensive gear like this and not buy it unless you are using it all the time. As you can see, this is quite a physical undertaking and it does take experience to pull it off successfully. So I wouldn't suggest trying this for the first time on a shoot where your reputation depended on it. Instead, rent it for a weekend from your rental house and do some experimenting with it. Or get some experienced grip help to, mm, pardon the pun, put you on the right track. Or you can give me at Cinematics HD a call, like Lowe's did, and we can set it up for you, complete with experienced operators. All right, that's it for this Cinema Tools Pro Tip. Hope you enjoyed it. Join us next time to learn about how to use industry uh, tools and techniques. I'm Jim Ross for Cinematics HD. We'll see you on set.